Okay, so I will get into what happened and why they blacked out the second time. I'm going to avoid the first blackout. I'm going to avoid, if you want to watch a longer video, I have a very long video summarizing each of these points. But for this video, I kind of want to explain why they left the second time. And it comes down to one individual and his name is Watts Nicholas. So Watts Nicholas is supposedly did some type of business with Anthony. It's still really unclear if he was trying to buy a watch, trying to sell a watch, or even if they actually talked to each other. This is not clear and no side has confirmed if they communicated prior to the channel. The big events that happened was Anthony made a video with his lawyer. I assume it's his trademark lawyer, Tyler. And in that video, he basically blamed Watts Nicholas for everything that went wrong in his life. He blamed him for, you know, oh, you know, I might not pass my parole. I might not get my ankle removed. Oh, you're causing all this trouble. You're hurting my employees or hurting me. You're hurting everything. And it's your fault, your fault, your fault. Then I think a day later, that video, that video got deleted. And then the most interesting part of that video was the statement, uh, what was it? It was, you called me a con, which is true. <laughs> I remember this day, I was like, come on. You called me a con, convict, which is true. But still, that hurts my reputation. And I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, wow, why is Tyler letting this guy continue? You got to like pull the plug on the internet or something. This cannot go on. It was not a great, the, I would call it attack video on Watson Nicholas was not done with any, any pre-thought. There was, well, there was no strategy behind what he was just kind of just saying the things that he felt, which like the convict statement didn't really, I mean, it just was kind of, bad i mean I, I, it was just like wow like well you are a felon i mean like what <laughs> you know it doesn't make any sense um okay so that video got tugging down and then he made an apology video almost immediately after apology but the apology video wasn't really an apology video it's, it reminds me of the blackout video from the first time where the blackout video was hey you viewers you guys suck and you know, look at all the charity we're doing. Look at the money we're donating. And look at all these charities, you know, I'm, you know, that's patting me on the back. And it was like, oh, well, uh, what? <laughs> you know, why would this have anything to do with the viewers thinking that you just took the money? And it didn't make sense in the context because you should have known better. And if it was a marketing PR, just say it was a marketing PR that went absolutely wrong but don't blame it on the viewers being eager to, you know, if they love you and they, they are desperate, they're so, I mean, so many of them actually just kind of went around Dallas stalking and seeing what happened to the store, what happened to the car. I mean, I saw on Reddit, people were taking photos and that was how interested they were in the cars and, you know, they were trying to track the individuals even. That reminds, so that was kind of an apology video but it wasn't really an apology video. It was blame shifting. It was like, oh, well, you know, hey, it's still not my fault, but it's your fault. And it was like, well, hmm. So this Watts Nicholas apology video was kind of the death kneel. Um, as soon as that was issued, then the whole channel went dark. The channel got absolutely, the channel just went dark. And, it, and the previous channel, which is now the Grand Caliber, so there's two channels. One channel is Anthony's vlog channel, which is now gonna be the new Timepiece Gentleman channel. Uh, that went dark and the videos got deleted. And also interesting enough, Watts Nicholas's videos at the time on Anthony also went dark. Uh, whether or not he received a strike, whether or not he, whatever happened there, it's still unknown. But uh, he stopped posting and he stopped in, at this moment in time, he stopped talking about the time. He won't even mention their name for whatever reason. So maybe there was a settlement, maybe there was a watch given one way, or I don't know, maybe there was a lawsuit, maybe there was a cease and desist letter, which is probably very normal because any lawyer can write that and it costs almost no money. 
it's not legal action, but it can be very scary sometimes if you're not used to getting one. That is why they've been dark. And a lot of people did not expect them. And because their, their, their brand is social media, social media, social media. And until this week, we didn't really hear very much about them. Now we know that they moved to a new apartment, the new penthouse. We know they have greeneries. It doesn't seem like they have very much furniture, but they definitely got the, uh, the shrubs and the trees and the plants they wanted, uh, which they budgeted for. Uh, insane budget. They moved to the penthouse, which is a big one. A lot of people didn't expect them to actually have moved. They have a new team, it looks like, and they're having fun outside in the penthouse. And there might be a new Jimmy character. There might be more videographies. Darby and Liz still may be there. I mean, it's fascinating because we have not heard from them for more than a month. They have not made a YouTube video for more than a month on a channel that originally was started to make, that was supposed to make a one video a day for the entire year, now has skipped an entire month of video producing. And what we do know is the ankle bracelet is removed, the drug patch is gone, which we can kind of assume that that means that Anthony may be off parole, which would be a good thing for him. So we still have the same characters at play. We still have a Darby, Liz, a Brian. We have new characters at play. And you know, we have a dark horse, like watch Nicholas. What is he gonna do when they come back? Will he continue, will he continue to keep his mouth shut about Anthony and continue to do the, what was it? The Amber and Johnny Depp trials, which seems that he's doing right now. Or will he come back and for goodness sake, actually, one of Anthony's fans from Canada, uh, he approached me on LinkedIn and I was gonna make a $100,000 bet that, I'm not gonna tell you what the bet was for, but one of the stipends was, I wasn't allowed to make videos about Anthony and he kind of wafered in a bet, he, he did blah, blah, blah. He took a month to even get back to me on it and he wanted it to be $5,000, but $5,000, I make more ad revenue talking about Anthony and Timepiece Gentlemen in a year, so the bet would be for one year or even longer, um, then I would $5,000, like $5,000 isn't worth it to me to not talk about this issue because I think I give a pretty fact oriented detail. Now I do have my opinions and you guys don't agree with my opinions, but at least for these two videos to set up their new premiere on, I think it's Monday or it's 23rd, I don't know what day that is, um, I would expect it to be Monday because Grand Caliber does Tuesday, so Anthony probably wants to one-up them. Um, but yeah, this is all the stuff that happened. It's all factual. There's been very little of my opinion uh, so far in these two videos. And in my last video, I will give you my opinion. And again, you don't need to watch the video. You know, no one's forcing you. This isn't, you know, I didn't kidnap you and put you in front of... <laughs> You know, people make it seem like I kidnapped them and put them in front of and tied them to my chair that they apparently hate and then you may, are making them watch my videos. I made two very factual videos, which is to the best of my ability, I just laid out the facts. And now, now I deserve, in my opinion, I deserve the ability to make a video which is not, you know, which is just opinions. Okay, and that will be my next video. Bye guys.